Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to Channel on Bushka, and I've got the steel grey whiskers going on, just showing a little bit of class and style here, as I go sand shaving for the whole period of time my wife is away in Tokyo on business. Um, <laughs> this is the WZ113, and this is something you might not know, this is the most incredibly high damage output heavy tank in the entire game. This is the number one tank in the entire game in terms of damage. Uh, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that, but I'm going to, I'm going to talk about a few other things first. Um, update 6.5 did a whole lot of stuff to the WZs. This one was already equal top of the pops with the FE215B for DPM, uh, and it got another 20 alpha on top, which is 5%, a flat 5% buff right on top, which was crazy, really, really good. Uh, it's a tank that doesn't get a huge amount of credit and it doesn't get driven like enormously in tournament play because there are other tanks out there that can be very, very specific to things. Um, but when it is played well, and it, one of the reasons it doesn't is its traverse is god awful. It needs something that's bad about it because its armor profile certainly isn't the bad part and its pen certainly isn't the bad part. And, you know, all those things are real um its pen is is just fine 255 millimeters of apcr pen and 335 millimeters of heat pen you'd ra i'd rather it was an ap shell but that's neither here nor there both of them are just fine and dandy for me uh, the tank is also one of the fastest tanks in its tier at straight line fighting i want to i want to give you an idea that leopard and i we have basically the same dpm no joke. Uh, I think he's got like 120 DPM more than me, damage per minute more than me. 120 with a much smaller alpha dose. That means at, he's 350, I'm 420. I can... Like, look at it. Look at it trade. This is what a hit point trade is. We're at 1,200. Nah, let's, uh, let's make that 1,600 damage on the front line because a Leo was silly enough to think he could get away with taking two shots on a one shot and just kept doing it until he absolutely got trounced. So we've done 2k damage on the reload, basically. We are over here smashing. Uh, and we're going to lose this one, but it won't be because of us. And this is what this tank does incredibly well. And you see all these bounces. It's not an accident. It's got six degrees of gun depression. Six degrees of gun depression is the same as that Object 140 here. Everyone thinks in terms of... DPM for mediums, armor and hit points for heavies. Now, the 215B and the WZ113 turn that theory on its head, but nothing more than this. This is the number one tank in the game for just pure pedal to the metal, pressing the button as fast as you can, absolutely wrecking things. And it's, it's incredible to me that people still put... Like, they still... Mediums still try to make trades with you when you're driving this tank which is nutty, just nutty. You've got more pen, you've got better armor, you've got more hit points, um, you've got higher alpha, and that means you can peek out, take a shot, pull back, and even though you've got a super fast reload, um, like if you have to stay there, your first shot did 420. It didn't do 350 or 310 like you do in a T62A, which is like, Look at this armor profile. Look at this tank. It's glorious. And they buffed it. I don't know why they buffed it. It's great. But if you haven't been driving it, one of the reasons is probably you got caught up when the when the, all the Chinese heavies came out. A lot of people didn't like the tier 9 variant of this tank. And there was a lot of issues with that for me. Gun depression is something that is so hard to take advantage of when you, you, know, you don't have it. Um, it's very hard to get shots, but six degrees is plenty. A lot of the, like the IS-8, for instance, has five degrees of gun depression. I can't believe I shot that AMX there in the only part of the entire tank which doesn't have, um, which isn't like an auto pen. Like the only thing it's got going for it in its armor is its pointy nose. Let's so this is the armor profile uh, using the textures. We're talking about the armor profile now. Uh, I did this earlier. Inspector, which you should probably use. Been using this for a long time. Paid for it a long time ago. You should pay for it too. Uh, this is how it looks in game. Uh, firing at it with the T1185's AP. Now, if you switch it up to heat, you can see that things start to appear. Just either side is about 300 millimeters of the gun, but that's not easy to hit. The upper glacis becomes penable, but if you angle it, not so much. You can see the sides slowly turn from penable to unpenable but even then it's 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 very hard to hit uh, and if you can get it hull down you're going to be really laughing its armor profile is very strong 
which is surprising. And it doesn't get nearly as much credit as it deserves. Also, six degrees of gun depression. It's been upped and upped and upped over time. These Chinese tanks have all... I mean, six degrees of gun depression is as much gun depression as you get on an Object 140. It's more than you get on a lot of tanks. And it's certainly more than you get in the Tier 9 variant. That's right. And that means that your shots like this are so much easier to get off. Like you can see, we are on a, uh, a hull down space. This is a very tough pen for a tier nine medium to get through the armor profile of this tank. And in fact, the E100 just starts firing HE and we're smacking heat into the top of the turret. Now you have so much DPM, you can absolutely afford to run calibrated shells on this and you have heat rounds. You still have 3,200 DPM if you run calibrated shells with this and 268 millimeters of bed. To give you some kind of idea on how that compares to the rest of your T9 heavy counterparts, the T110E5 running gun rammer will have 2,849 DPM and 400 alpha. You, running calibrated shells, so you have extra heat pen, have two, 3,200 DPM and 420 alpha. Like you've got more alpha than every other tier 10 heavy in the game, apart from the FV215B running calibrated shells. And you're only 75 alpha behind the 215B, 75 damage behind the 215B over the course of a minute. For anyone who's wondering, that's like 1.3 damage per second. Um, per second, you're behind the 215B. That's nutty, absolutely nutty. That that's incredible, and that brings your heat pen up to 370 millimeters of heat pen, which is something the 215B cannot do, absolutely cannot do, and that's. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. And you can see in these situations, and I chose these videos particularly because these clips highlight the two one uh, the uh, WZ one one three's damage potential. This is a losing side. Everyone else in the team gets absolutely obliterated, um, and that happens in Blitz. It's a 7v7 game. It's not a 1v7 game. I certainly don't recall winning a whole lot of races when it's 1v7 and that's just how it is. And unfortunately, though, you can see that's when I switched to the heat rounds. Now, right now, I am still running 3,198 damage per minute, firing heat. Then I switched to APCR, 269 millimeters of heat, uh, APCR pen, 268. This is crazy, hey? Like, it's just absolutely phenomenal how good this tank is apart from when you're firing into the back of an IS-7, because obviously the back of an IS-7 is where they keep the special Soviet technology that allows you to not get penned. And then the Fosh 155 decides to drive across and takes the shot. And here comes our mate, the Leopard PTA. Ta-ta. Like this, you go down like a Spitfire. We're going to do nearly 4K damage here, just going down slowly, pumping out DPM. We're still getting shots. These aren't pennable shots. Like we're getting tracks and all kinds of things. We're just, you know... We're still firing all on our own, just bouncing, shooting, trying. The tank's a monster. It's so much fun to drive. Uh, and one of the problems I have with Blitz right now is there are so many good tanks out there that you just don't have a chance to drive them all. And because this is, you know, buffed in a recent patch, I made up my job to go out there and drive some more WZ-113. And I'm glad I did. It's... It's gorgeous. It's it's a wonderful tank to drive. It's lovely to have a tank that you actually have like that one definable skill that really sets it apart from other vehicles. Like the Hesh on a Centurion 7 and 1 makes it makes it fun. Or the uh, you know, the armor plate on a, on a mouse, the drum autoloader on our tank to the left there, the Progetto. These, these are vehicles that you, there's so many interesting facets to the game. And it's surprising to me that there are so many T10 heavies and yet Wargaming of Melling, they've really done a good job of keeping them all interesting. It's like I look at tier 10 and there are very few tanks that I just say, I don't like that tank. There, there's not a whole lot going for it. And it's certainly not the case of the WZ113. It, it can do all kinds of things well. Uh, straight line speed, 50 kilometers an hour. It's Traverse is dog awful, which is fair enough. And if you give any of these tier 10 tanks enough time to aim, eventually one of them is going to pen you. But <laughs> nice work, Leo. How do you like them apples? And they roll back out thinking they can get away with it again because they're ready to fire. And all the other tanks that are heavies that they face, for the most part, they roll back out and they're like, oh, he won't have another one in the clip. But 
you will find this all the time. Leo drivers, T62A drivers, um, they think that you are still reloading. Like they're little mediums. They've got super fast reloads. Low alphas, but super fast reloads. I should be able to just get two shots in when he fires. Man, you will reap those humans. You will absolutely reap them. Um, they do not understand that this tank is a medium with heavy hit points, 2K hit points, heavy armor, and heavy traverse. But it's got medium DPM and very much medium pedal to the metal speed, 50 kilometers an hour. So if you're considering going up the, the Chinese heavy line, the WZ113 is a very, very worthy prize at the end of it. I could highly recommend it, and it's an awfully fun drive. And I love the legendary camo as well. I'm Bushka. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to tune in for the live streams. Like and subscribe. Share the videos. That would help me. And until next time, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.